The Edmonton Federal Building was slated for a major renovation, which included an underground parkade and a new public space. Steel was the obvious solution for the project's challenges. The project is a fairly large and complex um, undertaking. So we ended up with an underground parkade under the plaza, some gatehouses and buildings to support some utilities on the plaza itself. We have a West End new pavilion, a, a new hosting pavilion and penthouse suites up on the 11th floor, which was the old roof. And we have lots of repurposing within the existing building. And a significant aspect also was uh, lateral bracing and strengthening works to the existing building to facilitate all of this. We are creating a public space as a majestic response to completing the north half of the government precinct, an area that had remained undeveloped for many years. And bringing government functions into a public space and drawing upon existing elements and amenities on the legislative grounds, all done in an effort to appeal to the desire for greater government transparency. At the end of the day, this project is going to be one phenomenal uh, part of our community that we will all be proud of. Centennial Plaza and its surrounding facilities will become a place where Albertans can gather for recreation and celebration. A worthy finalist for a CISC Alberta Building Communities Award. All bridges join two places together. The Peace Bridge joins two vital Calgary communities, Hillhurst Sunnyside and the downtown core. The new path it creates across the Bow River provides a route for an average of 6,000 cyclists and pedestrians each day. The new traffic has vitalized the surrounding neighborhoods, making the Peace Bridge a strong finalist for a CISC Alberta Building Communities Award. Calgary's growing public transportation needs are to be served in part by its new Southwest Light Rail Transit Line. Over 100,000 people are expected to use the new line, including its multiple stations. The Calgary West RT line connects them to some highly populated residential areas on the west side of the city. The new service to downtown is going to take a lot of vehicles off of the roadway and really aid in the commuting times for Calgarians getting to work in the mornings. The West LRT project was an addition of six stations. I think the benefit to the city for this entire project is just kind of the, the use of public transit, which is a good thing in large communities such as Calgary. There was one uh, elevated station, one below grade station, and the other ones were at grade. The city's conceptual design for the stations incorporated some unique geometry and also some very high quality material finishes. We were able to use structural steel to deliver on that architectural intent and produce some high quality stations at the end of the project. It's actually very nice looking I think for the community as well. So we do have these little landmarks in the city. Copper is not something that's typically used in Calgary so it is nice to kind of have that galvanized steel in contrast with the copper roofs that we have. So it's both functional and, uh, and pleasing to the eye. These stations are a vital part of a transit line that will serve Calgarians for years to come. They're also worthy finalists for the CISC Alberta Building Communities Award. 